Hello. Today we're going to do tiramisu. And sorry James, but this is the best recipe I have ever tried. And it's from some dude called Chef Dennis or something. And while I was researching um, over the years to try and find the best tiramisu recipe, this hands down, fantastic. So, we are going to do um, it in different sections. I'm going to add one, I'll, I'll post the recipe for you. But this is one cup of sugar and I've got six egg yolks. Um, you can freeze the egg whites. In fact, if you freeze egg whites and then thaw them to use for meringue, something happens in the freezing process that um, like accentuates the protein in the albumin. So they make the most amazing meringue once they've come to back down to room temperature. Perfect way to store your egg whites. So we're going to just do the separating of this. These are actually quite nice egg whites. You can see they're holding firmer than the other ones when I did the poached eggs. So let me just explain the process here. Um, I've got one and three quarter cups of cream, which I'm going to whip to um, stiff peak. Then we're going to make our savagnon, which is heating the eggs and the sugar before we whip that up. So I'm just going to whip this to uh, stiff peak so that my, um, I can use my um, beater later without worrying about buggering up the cream. Okay, so this is stiff peak, and I wouldn't go further than this, because otherwise you're going to be making your own butter. So that is stiff enough. Okay. So I'm going to leave that to the side, and then um, what we do is we're going to make a sabayon, which is just the sugar and egg mixture. We're going to cook this by stirring it for about 10 minutes but we want this on low heat this we don't want this to cook too fast okay you just want to cook the egg the egg yolk so when you do your bain marie or your sorry your double boiler like this don't let the water touch the bottom of of the bowl because that is that heat is too direct so you want there to be a space so that the steam is what is going to give you a more controlled heat so that you don't end up with scrambled eggs. And this takes a bit of work, but it's worth it. It's 10 minutes of your life. It gives your biceps a little bit of a workout. So it's five minutes down, and as you can see, I put it on my smallest plate, on, on low, because I don't want heat to come up the side and heat my bowl. Because if that happens, if the heat comes up onto this too high a heat on this bowl, it's going to cook my egg, and then I'm going to end up with sort of hard boiled egg yolk, which I don't want. I want this to remain as it is, because... Uh, it would be, you'd have to throw it away and, and start again if that happened. Okay, this is now to temperature, so I'm going to switch this off. And then I'm going to give it a good beat so that it becomes nice and pale and Sabayon is now ready. Beautiful, thick and pale. Now I need it just to cool down a little bit before I can add the mascarpone. Um, the mascarpone is also at room temperature to make it easier to combine. 
So I just want this to cool a little bit. And then I'm going to add the mascarpone. In the meantime, let's do the biscuits. So we've got Saviadi's biscuits. These are the best biscuits that you can use. They are by far better than um, a boudoir and they're also cheaper. These are the real McCoy. They're just wonderful to use. So in here, I don't have any Kahlua and traditionally you should have Kahlua. So I'm using my black sesame and cacao gin. But because it's gin and not as sweet as, as a Kahlua liqueur is, I've added two tablespoons of sugar and I've got the strong black coffee. So one of the worst things that you can do when you make um, this pudding is to soak these biscuits until they become complete mush. You don't want that. You must dip them and then that's it. So we're literally going to do that and that's enough. You'll be surprised how much this actually soaks up just by doing this. So obviously I've made this pudding many times before where it's, it's for kids and you don't want to put booze in. So then you just do the coffee and you don't worry about the booze. If you like a, you know, quite an alcoholic one, then you add more Kahlua and less coffee. So, and you're supposed to also do this in a square dish, like a nine inch square dish, which I don't have. So uh, just make do with whatever you have. So the problem with this is that one of these trays normally does a nice square dish. So I'm going to be short now because I thought that it would fit into my brownie tin, but the brownie tin is too small. So yeah, we're gonna try to decide if I should have less layers on the bottom. I'm gonna have to just kind of be a little bit creative and do that, I think. Okay, so it's going to be short on the bottom, but I'm going to have the same amount on the top. So, yeah, it's not going to be the best. There's nothing I can do about that, unless I make a plan and use some tennis biscuits or something on the bottom. All right, so this is really African style, deep dark African style making a plan. Um, but these biscuits kind of have a similar texture. So that's why I'm figuring to use these. So at least there's some sort of biscuit covering on the bottom and I've taken uh, three out there so that I can use those in the top layer which will make it better. Anyway, this will be fine. I don't think anybody's going to even notice this considering it's just the two of us. Right, so there's a layer. Now we're going to get on with the rest. So now we're going to open the mascarpone and we're going to beat the mascarpone into that. I'm also not using the full quantity of mascarpone because these are like 250 mils and then the recipe calls for like 284. So I thought, ugh. It's not actually for anybody, so I'm, I refuse to go and buy two of them just to make, to get a little bit out, you know. So it's a little bit less, but the recipe will have the correct quantities for you. Because this normally serves like nine people. Okay, so we're going to beat this. So this can be quite hard to get this to combine if the mascarpone is, is cold. That's why it's better to do it at room temperature. Right, now we are going to fold the cream into this mascarpone mixture. So we're gonna take a little bit to loosen this up. So we make the mixture loose first, as you would with egg white. 
and then we're just going to whip fold this whipped cream in so make it love it makes it beautiful and light right so we're going to do half of the mascarpone mixture on here And hope like hell this all fits into this little dish right now we're going to do the rest of the biscuits so we're going to just cram in these last because I've spaced this out now. Right, I'm never going to be able to get all of this on here. Which is a real shame, but I just did not have the right dish for this. So you can see the size of this now. Now you know. You need a bigger dish, right? Might be able to actually. It will firm up in the fridge as well. So this needs to be refrigerated for a minimum of four hours, preferably overnight. Every, most of these kind of things improve overnight because the flavors develop and it sort of sets better. Please don't run over. So, okay, we've really pushed it here. We've managed to kind of get it all in, which is amazing. So now, once this is set, then all we're going to do is we're going to dust it with cocoa powder. And then your tiramisu is done. And I mean, how easy is that? And seriously, it is the most incredible recipe. Into the fridge we go, but this is now leaking. Don't run over. Okay. Right, a couple of hours have gone by. Now we're just going to dust this with cocoa liberally. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, this is still a bit soft because I'm cheating and not sticking to the time otherwise it's difficult for us to film but you can see it's pretty pretty much it just needs a little bit longer and then it will be perfect and it is really worth waiting for so I'm now going to put this back in the fridge to sit for the required amount of time but it's going to be too late for me to wait for that to show you so pretend this has been you know four or five hours um and i tried to cheat and put it in the freezer so the top is nice and firm but of course the middle is not quite so wonderful enjoy this please make it you will never regret it and james eat your heart out baby because this you will really you will change to this recipe bye